Hi there Fabric Jugglers, it's Babs here from My Fiery Phoenix and today I'm going to be taking you through a tutorial to create my first sample project on the Cricut Explore. Now this was something that I got for my birthday from my wonderful husband um, and I've already done an unboxing video so hopefully you've already watched that and now you're here to find out how to make your first project. The sample project that's included is part of the setup of the kit. Um, so I'll be walking you through that process in this tutorial. If you haven't seen that video and you would like to see me getting overexcited about my birthday present, then there'll be a link somewhere on the screen um, to take you to that video. So hopefully you will enjoy and you will learn something and um, I'll see you around in a bit. So I've managed to go through and set up and make a test run through and I've also managed to completely mess that up. Not because of anything that the, um, the Cricut machine itself has done wrong, but if you look, I've cut out the wrong colour card for a start for the first project. I should be cutting out my grey card, which is included in, in this set. Um, and because I've used a wrong card, it's the wrong size and um, it means that everything is has slightly messed up my um, my cutting. I don't know whether you can see that, but we've got a little bit of a smudge here and it's actually cut through. Can you even see that on the screen? I mean, it's a very small cut, but it has actually cut through the, the mat itself rather than card. Uh, so, as you can see, the blue card is slightly narrower than the gray, which is what it was expecting to use as a gray card. So I don't know whether that is through my overexcitement and my enthusiasm to try and, and use this, or whether there's something that wasn't quite as obvious as it needs to be in the instructions. But I'm gonna go through and try and do this properly because I have enough of the blue card left over to be able to fill in the cutout space. I just won't have the blue fold over at the back. So what I'm going to do is go through and try and do this correctly now for you so you can see how simple it is to just work your way through that very first project. So what we do is you click on continue and it's taking you through all of the setup process which as I say I've already done once um, and I can take you through how to use the machine in more detail but this instruction to this point is actually very very clear. So I just need to pop the pens back in. It helps if you open the clamp. There we go. And now I'm going to move my laptop out of the way so that I can actually continue on. I'll just put that over to the side. There needs to be clear space behind the Cricut machine. So there needs to be space behind the Cricut machine so that it's got room to feed this particular card through. And what I've done is I've attached the grey card in the top left corner. I'm going to slide this through and push the double headed arrow button which should line everything up for me. Oh, helps if I've actually got it turned on. And there. Okay, so now that I've turned it on, we've, I've slid this in so that it's underneath these two guides and I'm gonna push the double-headed arrow which should then line everything up so that it's ready to go. So I'll continue on to the next step. This is the actual design that is being cut out. Uh, you can see the little telephone and the hello and, and the shape there. So I'm just going to click go down here and um, hopefully everything will start to move as we expect. So there's instructions here to say that the fabric and material need to be loaded. And then the, the button that I should be pressing is actually lit up. So I'll just reload that. I 
I need to set the, the, um, the cardstock dial. I need to reload the pen. And again, we put the pen in until this arrow disappears, apparently. And then lock it into place. The dial position should be on cardstock, which it is. And then we press the flashing Cricut key to start the process. So let's see what happens. now moved on to using the cutting blade. Which is quite impressive to watch actually. That's that's pretty quick, um, and that appears to to all be completed. Uh, let's take a ooh, as I'm jogging the, um, the the phone there. So, eject it. Let's press continue. See what the what the instructions are. So this is as it has turned out. Hopefully you can see that there has been cutting marks as well as the. Uh, as well as the uh, the ink that's been applied. So if I roll this away, let's peel this up and see what we get. Ooh, I can see where I made mistakes on the on the metal. Most of the small pieces have been left on the mat, so the sticky is doing its job. There's a couple. Oh wow. There's a couple of, of little circles that need to be just tapped out or encouraged out, so I shall do that. Um, I've got tweezers upstairs if I really need them, but they don't seem to need that much encouragement to come out, which gives us this cutout. So, what I'm going to do is pop the blue card behind it and look, there we have, that is the, the test project. So I shall put this together with double-sided tape so that you can see exactly what the card looks like without flapping about and uh, away from the backing. Um, but I have to say, I'm incredibly impressed with the, the ease and speed of setup of, um, of my lovely birthday present. So uh, it's, it's, it's exceeded my expectations already. However, I will be testing it more. I will be playing around with fabric and making sure that that cuts out correctly and also with the, um, the, the sticky uh, adhesive whose name it completely escapes me at the moment. I know it's not latex, but that's the one that keeps coming into my mind. Um, so I will have tutorials on how to use this in more detail. This is simply um, a first impressions and out of the box. And I have to say my first impressions are a massive great big two thumbs up. This is, is fabulous. I'm so, so chuffed with it. And I'll have um, written reviews and, and so forth as well on my website. So hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more designs, a lot more patterns and appliques and ways to use this with fabric in the near future. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. And hopefully over on the right hand side of the video, there will be some examples of other videos that you might like as well. And um, you know, please give them a check out and uh, let me know. Any comments, always appreciated and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.